artist who's moving animal sculptures powered entirely by the wind are now attracting the attention of NASA. They're called Strand Beasts and they're the creation of Theo Janssen. NASA wants to use his ideas to create a wind-powered rover on Venus, one of the most inhospitable places in the solar system. Our arts correspondent David Vizzilito has been to meet him. Skaveningen on the Dutch coast and a summer spectacle, the Strand Beasts wind-blown mechanical artworks. You don't get used to it, though. not really. It's always something special when you see them. I find it I find you know, amazing. My name is Theo Janssen and I try to make new forms of life on the beach where I was born 70 years ago. Oh, it moves pretty easily, doesn't it? Theo Janssen is an engineer and artist, and we joined him as he brought out his latest beasts for his summer experiments. These animals, they give me sleepless nights because I'm thinking it is really an addiction, you could say. The puzzle, how to make something move and survive on the beach, powered only by the wind. What you're looking at is 28 years of trial and error, expertise at uh, creating mechanical movement, almost a mechanical brain, which is what has attracted the attention of NASA. This animation shows how their meeting with Theo has influenced their thinking for a Venus rover, an environment where pressure and heat is just too much for normal motors. However, he had doubts that legs could cope with the rocky surfaces, so he showed them this his caterpillar, inspiration for a more robust design. I was honored that NASA, they, uh, they invited me. And of course, I uh, promoted the beast uh, very much there, so. Do you think one of your strand beasts will end up on another planet then? I don't think so, but I hope so. <laughs> NASA is still working on a final design, but whatever they come up with, it will owe something to Theo's strange, beautiful, windborne creatures. David Silito, BBC News, Skavenungen in the Netherlands.